Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel LPN in livelihood. How y'all doing today? I hope you're doing well. In my today's video, I would like to bring you to one temple called Brakan Temple. Because there are 72 Garuda statues at the temple. And today I read the history of Garuda from a website called n.wikipedia.org. Garuda is a Hindu demigod and divine creature mentioned in the Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain faiths. He is primarily depicted as the Mount Vahana of the Hindu god Vishnu. Garuda is also the half-brother of Devas, Deityas, Danaivas, and Yatsas. He is the son of the sage Kashyapa and Vinata. He is the younger brother of Aruna, the charioteer of the sun. Garuda is mentioned in several other texts such as the Puranas and the Vedas. Garuda is described as the king of the birds and a kite-like figure. He is known either in a zoomorphic from a giant bird with partially open wings or an anthropomorphic form a man with wings and some ornithic features. Garuda is generally portrayed as a protector with the power to swiftly travel anywhere, ever vigilant, and an enemy of every serpent. He is also known as Tatsya and Venadia. Garuda is a part of state insignia of India, Indonesia, and Thailand. The Indonesian official coat of arms is centered on the Garuda. The national emblem of Indonesia is called Garuda Pancasila. The Indian Army also uses the Garuda on their guards brigade, coat of arms and name their special operations unit after him as the Garud Commando Force. It is often associated with the greater adjustant stock. Garuda in Buddhism, Garuda also referred to as Garula are golden-winged birds in Buddhist text. Under the Buddhist concept of samsara, they are one of the atagatya, the eight classes of inhuman beings. In Buddhist art, they are shown as sitting and listening to the sermons of the Buddha. They are enemies of the Nagas and are sometimes depicted with a serpent held between their claws. Like the Hindu art both zoomorphic giant eagle like bird and partially anthropomorphic part bird part human iconographic is common across Buddhist traditions. In Buddhism, the Garuda are enormous predatory birds with a wingspan of 330 yojanas. They are described as being with intelligence and social organization. They are also sometimes known as supana, meaning well-winged, having good wings. Like the Nagas, they combine the characteristics of animals and divine beings and may be considered to be among the lowest of the divas. The Garudas have kings and cities, and at least some of them have the magical power of changing into human form when they wish to have dealing with people. On some occasions, Garuda kings have had romances with human women in this form. Their dwelling are in groves of the Simbali or silk cotton tree. 
The Garuda are enemies to the Naga, a race of intelligent serpent or dragon-like beings whom they hunt. The Garudas at one time caught the Nagas by seizing them by their heads, but the Naga learned that by swallowing large stones, they could make themselves too heavy to be carried by the Garudas, wearing them out and killing them from exhaustion. The secret was divulged to one of the Garudas by the ascetic Garambiya who taught him how to seize a naga by the tail and force him to vomit up his stone. In the Maha Samaya Sutta, the Buddha is shown making temporary peace between the Nagas and the Garudas. In Cambodia, the word Garuda is literally derived from Sanskrit. In our Khmer language, we call Krut. In Cambodia, Khmer architects have used the Garuda sculptures as the exquisite ornate to equip on temples. We had a of what and many elite houses seen ancient time especially from Khmer Empire era until now today. Garuda is also mentioned in many legendary tales as the vehicle of Vishnu and its main rival is Naga. Okay everyone, I hope you like the history of Garuda. Thank you for watching. Please have a great week and stay safe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.